can't beat green pumpkin. There's two ways of how I fish too. The only time you reel is to pick up your slack. You imitate a crayfish, a goby. Good man, we're trying to from Uncle Josh and uh, man, we're fishing tube jigs today and uh, we're dragging tubes and uh, this is not some fire breathing monster but uh, a technique that's pretty much bread and butter in this smallmouth fisherman's arsenal isn't it oh absolutely in largemouth too mike what you have here is kalen's makes a three and a half and a three inch tube um, in this clear water up here you can't beat green pumpkin it's just it's such a good color uh, with some orange on it always helps uh, representing a crayfish but what I do is typically you get out here on, on this offshore structure and I, I'm dragging tubes around rock and around sand primarily and uh, a pretty much 10 feet of water and less you can get away with a quarter ounce as long as the wind's not blowing really hard a quarter ounce jig inside there stuff inside there um, and I'll even step up all the way up to a three quarter ounce if, if the, it's a real strong wind and I'm out fishing 20 plus feet of water um, but what I'll do here is I'm going to show you how, how kind of how I drag how I drag a tube there's two ways of how I fish a tube um, one is you, you can throw it out and and let the wind just push you and just hold your rod out and uh, and, and just and just go and just drag and that's a real popular effective way on the Great Lakes but for these inland lakes that we're on here today I like to just bomb it out on the piece of structure that I'm fishing let it get all the way down to the bottom again just like before I like to leave my bail open for a little bit and feed it a little bit of line so that it falls down and it doesn't sweep back towards the boat but once it hits the bottom out there it's just a little sweep technique I, I'll reel the line real slow so it tightens up so I can feel it and then I'll pull it and I'll, I'll vary this this cadence right here kind of or sometimes I'll pull it a foot and then pause it and, and the only time you reel is to pick up your slack if you're over reeling like this you're lifting the bait off the bottom and you're killing the action it doesn't look natural like a like a crayfish or a bait fish down there so you only reel to pick your slack up once it gets tight do a sweep and I'll, pr I'll pretty much pull my rod back anywhere from one to three feet depending on how aggressive I want to be reel a slack back up and sweep it and, and, and that goes for a lot of baits that you're fishing is a lot of times when you're fishing these bottom baits and stuff you only reel to pick up slack you, if you if you over reel or over shake you're killing the action of the bait so you only reel to tighten that line up you can't beat green pumpkin there's two ways of how I fish it too the only time you reel is to pick up your slack you imitate a crayfish a goby 